and this is Paul. In my teaching over the years, I started noticing that I'd have students that had been with me for maybe a year, and they had their tactics, and they'd been training pretty regularly, and they knew their tactics, and they knew their principles. But when I would say to them, okay, I'm going to come at you with a couple of strikes and do a technique, do a knife technique on you. Um, I started noticing that their techniques were very haphazard and that they seemed to have no purpose. And the guy would come at them and they'd get the arm cut and they'd get this tactic here and he'd come back over this side and then he'd try to get this arm and do his quarter. And all the little pieces might have been there, all the little tactics might have been there, but they never seemed to have any purpose. They were just haphazard like he was making up what he was doing along the way. So I really started thinking about what is it that gives your knife tactics purpose? And what I, what I discovered is what gives your knife tactics purpose and what dictates what tactics you are going to use is where you need to be tactical. If my escape route is over here, and he attacks me to this side. Tactically, I know I need to get over there. So I use the proper tactics that put me in that position. That positioning gave my technique purpose. If he attacked me from this side and my escape route was over there, I'm fine here. So I discovered that where you need to be tactically and the pre-awareness, the fight pre-awareness is what is going to give your techniques purpose. So I started telling my students, before you do any knife work, the first thing you should have in your mind is what tactical position you need to be in. So that when he comes at me with two strikes, excuse me, when he comes at me with two strikes, before he attacks, I say, okay, I want to end up over there. So he comes here, I end up here, I know I need to work over this side. And I use the proper tactics to put me there. But it was the direction I needed to go that gave purpose to what I was doing. If he came at me with two strikes and my escape route was over there, and I ended up over here on five. So, just as a tip in your knife fighting, when you're working with somebody, you should have the pre-fight awareness to say, okay, I'm going to do whatever. I don't try to work over there. I still let my reflexes handle whatever he comes at. But I know I have the quartering skills to get to where I want to go. And I have a purpose in my tactics. So now, if he was going to attack me, I'd say, okay, I want to end up over there. He comes, I use my reflexes to cover that, and I end up over here. When he attacks me, I say, okay, this time I want to end up over there. He attacks me. Oh, I use a technique that puts me over here. And my techniques start to have purpose. Even if out of reflex, I use a technique that puts me in the bad spot, I have a direction that I know I need to go. So try that a little bit in your training. Give your techniques purpose. The purpose will dictate what tactics you end up using in your knife fight. Now, if you come from a system that uses set tactics, those set tactics give your tactics purpose because you're following a set of a preset set of, mo of movements. But in our art, where we do everything out of the random, I need to know beforehand where I need to go. And this is excellent training for the fight, because I know I'm walking down the street, my wife's on this side of me, and I get attacked. I know I need to end up here. Or I'm attacked and the door's over there, I know that I need to end up over here. Thank you.